my name is Andy Lore. I'm an author, writing, and book coach, and CEO of Story Launcher Publishing. And my mission is to make the world a better, better place through story because story changed people. Stories change people, and people change the world. And that's what we're going to talk about: is strategizing and making room for writing. Because I am, I am the world's worst procrastinator. I can have a project that I'm scared of or I'm uncertain of, and I can think of anything under the sun to do besides write it. So it's easy when we have a passion and a, a powerful message that we're really wanting to get out there. It's easier, right, to, to feel that motivation to sit, you know, butt in chair and get busy. But oftentimes life gets in the way. You know, we all have jobs and families and homes and animals, in my case, that are stealing our attention, not stealing, but deserve our attention, need our attention. And so writing becomes, it's the first thing that we can, we can push off to the side. So I'm going to give you three tricks and tools to making writing your priority. Though I started with three, but they've kind of grown. So they might, it, it's gonna be more than three, but there's three bullet points here. So first of all, when you've got a writing project that's really nagging at your heart and nagging at your mind that you want to get out and get it sh to share with the world, I want you to write down your intentions of that, of that project and that, that manuscript. Write down your intentions, number one. And that not your goals. Goals, I, I think goals are overrated. I have, there's more on that in, the, in my program, but goals are overrated. So we want to focus on your intentions. And in doing that, you're going to be, you need to create a system around your intention, okay? Goals fail, systems succeed, systems are freedom. So when you think of your intention, a finished book, right? To have this finished book that's gonna be powerful and it's gonna be either promote your business or your, your service or gain clientele or share your message, I want you to focus more on you know, you're, fin you're focusing on this finished book, but focus more solely on how having that finished book in your hand is going to make you feel. So if you can focus on that feeling and, and feel that in your body, close your eyes and just imagine it. You know, our minds are tricky that way. We can, we can trick our subconscious into, you know, you've got this finished book and how is it going to feel to walk into a show or a talk or you're going to read or you're sharing it with friends or family and you have this in your hand how is that going to make you feel so focus on that feeling of accomplishment and success instead of the actual product focus focus on your feeling and write that feeling down the second trick and i've i've mentioned this before in other in other shows is creating a a work environment a writing space yeah, and I'm not, not going to show you mine at the moment because I just did get back from a trip and so mine's a little askew. But have a sacred place where you can create. Not a place where you do your bills. Not a place where you collect mail. But a sacred place that is just yours and yours alone to write and to create. Okay? And this, this space can, it needs to be your sanctuary. And don't be afraid to shut the door. That was a hard hurdle for me with kids. Shut the door and lock the door. So those are some, some tricks. Those are my, my takeaways, just to review those and recap those. Um, write down your intentions. Focus on the feeling of that accomplishment more so than the actual physical product. Focus on how that, that book having that book completed is going to make you feel versus the actually the actual sitting down and and doing it or the actual physical book product just focus on the feeling how it's going to make you feel because we're by nature we're more in tune to feelings than thoughts i don't know i'm not i'm not a scientist i'm not a into that kind of thing but i'm very into that kind of thing i'm just not very schooled in it. I know enough to get me in trouble. But do focus on the on the feeling of having the having the finished book more so than the actual writing it. And focus on the milestones, you know, a chapter done or a a part of the book done. Or the book outlined, whatever it takes. Focus on the feeling. And go to sleep with that feeling and wake up to that feeling. Create a, a sacred space 
and don't be afraid to lock your door. You know, tell your family, hey, this is my writing time. I need some some personal time for the next 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and please don't disrupt unless you're bleeding. I always tell my family, if you're bleeding, I want to know about it. Otherwise, leave me be. I'm so mean. And lastly, creating your habits, creating good writing habits and tacking them onto things you're already doing.